Hey y'all, it's your girl Emma Rose and welcome back to my channel. I have been off work for almost three weeks, so it's time to go back. I don't go back for a few more days, but I'm gonna start packing today because I told myself that I'm gonna be more productive and not pack last minute this year. She says, hopefully. So I figured I would go ahead and pack with you all. This is a question that I have been asked from y'all. So let's kind of get everything together. I'm going to show y'all exactly my methodology when I pack, exactly what I pack, how I pack it, what I'm packing it in. And yeah, we'll get ready to go back to work. I can't say that the time off hasn't been fun. And that wasn't any vacation time. That was just me moving around my schedule. That's not what this video is about. If you want a video on that, leave a comment in the comment section below. But otherwise, let's get into it. Okay, so let's get packing. I am using my Travel Pro suitcase. I've had this ever since I became a flight attendant. I think this model in particular is great for mainline. It kind of is on the border for regional, which if y'all have been here, I started at a regional. There's some planes that this just did not want to fit in the overhead bin, like on the 200 and that can be a little stressful, but as far as mainline goes, it's a fantastic size, fantastic suitcase. I've had it for almost two years now, um, I think that's almost how long I've been flying, if not hitting my two-year anniversary yet, lol. And I've never had any issues, nothing's ever broke, anything like that. Love this suitcase. So, what I'm gonna pack first are my shoes and my uniform. So, as far as shoes go, I have my work boots. I only wear boots, really. I started even wearing them last summer, but being based out of Chicago, going to a lot of snowy, cold places, it's still winter. I don't even pack my pumps right now. I just pack my boots. I have my Converse, a pair of pumps, my workout sneakers, and a pair of sandals. You always have to pack a pair of sandals. We're working on reserves still, and you never know where you're gonna end up. You might end up in Hawaii, you might end up in Alaska. You don't know, okay? So, options, right? That's the life of living on reserve. And you might have a date on an overnight. You never know, just throw in a pair of pumps. You Thank me later, okay? So, one of these shoes I'm going to wear to the airport. So I'm not going to pack all of these shoes. I'm gonna make whatever outfit I wear to the airport be able to wear with either my boots or my chucks because those are my biggest shoes. As far as packing the rest of them, I'm gonna go ahead, fold these together, put them on the bottom. Fold these together, put them on the bottom and put my pumps together and put it on the bottom. And so I'll go ahead and say that I'm wearing my sneakers to the airport. And so I just fold these in half and put them in. I even have, I, this is where I keep my pen when I'm doing my orders. So I just keep it attached to my boots all the time. So all of my clothes rolled behind me. I roll everything because I feel like that keeps the most space possible. So the next things I'm gonna put in are my uniforms. So I have a three day trip, so I'm packing two dresses. And I like to keep all of my work pieces in the same place. I have a cardigan here as well, but I'm gonna leave this to the end. So I'm gonna put this in my other bag if I need the space, I'm gonna hold on to this for now. I'm going to pack my jeans. I pack like a casual outfit. So that's gonna be my jeans and a top for that. My pajamas, my workout clothes, and then a little black dress. I love to always pack a little black dress. And then in this travel pouch, I have my underwear, my bikini, because you always need to pack a bikini, um, my little biker shorts that I like to wear, that's like shapers, all just kind of like miscellaneous things, my stockings and my socks as well. And this will just go right on top right here. And then my coat, what I love about this coat, it's a system coat, there's an outer and an inner, this is the inner portion. I usually only wear this portion, most people only wear one or the other. I love this one because it can fold and literally fit in any crevice and I love it for that. So I'm just going to, 
in here because usually I don't need it in Georgia, um, so I could just go ahead and pack it. If I'm really tight for space, I would maybe wear that to the airport. And that's it. I am packed for a three day trip, completely done. In this pouch here, I have a hat just in case I'm somewhere that's really cold. Depending on what my hairstyle is, I have my hair tools in here um, and just my lotion, deodorant, just extra things that I might need right in here in this pouch. I actually am going to put my cardigan in here, but I'm just going to unroll it and do it flat and put it right on top. Go ahead and close her up. Tighten the strap here. It's all compressed in. my j-hook here in the front and she is all set i'm gonna set her to the side and pack my other bag now my secondary bag is a little mini duffel in the front i have kind of random things but the main thing is i have my dry snacks and things that obviously don't have to be refrigerated my trail mix if i have ramen my little tuna packets things like that is what i put in the front here it only has one side pocket this is again like another miscellaneous pocket i have just like stuff for my nails candy um kind of random i'm not gonna lie y'all but in the big part the major things that i'm gonna pack is my toiletry bag this has all of my skincare my makeup even some hair care everything that i need for my body basically is in here i love this bag and that takes up, honestly, the majority of the space in here. Then I pack my wire pouch, is what I call it. But this has all of my chargers, my portable, anything that I need to keep everything working. It's in this bag. So I slide that in there. Then I pack my IDFB. This is your company iPad or phone. Um, so I make sure that I have that packed. And then I pack my personal iPad. I always take my iPad with me personally. And so I go ahead and slide that in there too. Sometimes I will pack a blanket in here as well. But one of the most important things that I pack that usually goes to my toilet shoe bag is my perfume. Let me tell you about my new favorite company to buy all of my perfumes from. Dossier is inspired by those luxury perfumes that we all have heard of, love, and know about, but are a little bit out of our budget as a first year flight attendant. Like, let's be a little honest. But I was able to get some of my favorite scents from them, and it would be great for Valentine's Day as well. I have a daytime scent that I love that's based off of Daisy by Marc Jacobs, and this one, mm, I love this one. And then my nighttime scent is based off of Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. I don't know if you have a daytime and a nighttime perfume, but I think it makes sense, okay? What I love about Dossier is that they are clean perfumes. They are literally a fraction of the cost of the luxury perfumes that we know and love, and they are ethically made. I hit the jackpot once I found Dossier. I will leave their website in the description box below. Now that my perfumes are packed, I can close this on up. She's gonna go right on here. And I'm all set to go. I hope this helped you get ready for your next trip or your first trip. If you have a CJO coming up, leave it in the comments below. I want to encourage you as you get ready for training. I hope this was helpful. I'll add some videos in that you can enjoy next. Much love, see you in the next episode.